What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to uh, Editor X Live with me, your host, Brandon Gross. I had a little bit of a... <clears throat> there we go, in my throat. I'm glad to have you guys. I want to welcome you guys to a another amazing walkthrough that we are going to have today. And today we are focusing on parallax experiences we're going to do a very short and quick hero section with a sort of like parallax mountains we're going to figure out how to get a really cool effect let's hop into it and if you want to get started in editor x for free you guys can check down the link in the description as well as download the starter files for what we're going to be creating today we are essentially going to be creating an experience where there's three layers we have this background here we have our name of basically the portfolio that is going to be um, essentially the thing that is going to be parallaxed in between the background, the mid ground and this foreground. Uh, and basically we are going to have it when we scroll kind of move in between the foreground and the background. Also, do not forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hit the notification bell if you want to uh, be notified when we go live. What you guys are gonna get out of this is, one, how to just do the, the basic parallax with the simple website that I showed you before and how to use the parallax settings that EditorX has by default. So I'm gonna click the new section that I have. I'm gonna add a photo that I have or that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and use the background photo here that I have, just like we did before. And I can go to, I can click this section and I can click this background scroll effects. And now we have parallax and I can go ahead and click that. And what this does when I preview is I get this little, you know, I now do kind of get a little bit of parallax and that will change how much parallax I get depends on the size of my section. So I can go ahead and do 100 VH here. So what I can do here is I'm going to go ahead and add our, I'm going to go ahead and add our title, Brandon Gross. We're going to do Yellowtail. Let's do edit text. Yellow or white. Let's go ahead, center that. Let's preview what this looks like. All right. So the background stays. We have our name moving. I want this header to overlap next section. There we go. Preview. Let's go ahead and add our little mountain. Now this is where the thinking really has to come in. Background looks good. We have our mountain here. Now we need to make it so that Brandon is basically in an empty spot and we have the second part of our section be the mountain all right so let's see what we can do we're going to click our section apply a grid i'm going to do a one by two kind of what we did prior we're going to pull this down i wonder if i can add position type we're going to do sticky but we're getting there though we have our name moving which is exactly what you wanted we have the background that's parallaxing now it's just a matter of getting this to move independently of this. Pin to page, let's see. There we go, all right, we're close, we're close. Let me go ahead and just reset the image. Center this. Preview. All right, so how do we Let's go and don't display on the footer. Let's preview this. All right. Okay. 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 We're close. All right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to. So let us go to this section here. Let's go to design, not design. Let's go to the actual layout here. Let's make this like something crazy, like 200 p uh, uh, vertical height. Let's go to preview. I am going to move this down a little bit more so that when we scroll, we get more of that, you know, more, of, more movement. And I would like it to stop like right around here. 
I wonder if that is about like 125 pixels. I think we need to adjust the height of this section. Let's pull this down. And I actually don't even necessarily think we need a, uh, a grid layout anymore. Reason being is because our mountain, there we go. But here we go, guys. And so what we can do here now is we can have a little, we can have a little fun with this. If we wanted, we can click on my name, we can go to animations and we can go to fade in. Go ahead and preview. It fades in and as we scroll up, it's good to go. And I think I probably will reduce this section size to, not 125, we'll do 110 or 115. Preview, boom, and there we go. All right, what I challenge you guys to do is do this simple project. Have a background, have a middle ground, have a foreground, and mess around and see what you guys can create in Editor X, and that is it. Basically, that is what I, because there's a million things that you guys can do here. This is just simple. I just want you guys to think in terms of uh, foreground, middle ground, and uh, background. So that is it for today, guys. And if you guys liked the video, it helps tremendously if you like this video and subscribe. And uh, also hit the no bell notification if you guys want to join our uh, Discord. You guys can go link down in the description, join us and the amazing people that make our community what it is. Have a great day and I will see you on another amazing video and in our Discord. Have a great one. Peace.